The deserts of Arizona are home to all sorts of venomous and poisonous creatures, but there's only a few who are both. Ones who kill their prey by injecting it with a neurotoxic bite, and those that are deadly for anything that eats it. And the one I'm searching for today takes the cake for being the weirdest looking creature I've ever tried to feature on the channel, and one that deserves to get cancelled the most. I'm Chris Hansen, and tonight we are hoping to catch a predator. And not just one that hunts around looking for prey, but one that has a certain attraction to those of its species who resemble underage children. And that's exactly what we're hoping to find tonight. The, the bug, not, not children. As night falls, the desert's predators go on the prowl. But the creature I'm looking for is a lot smaller than most and harder to spot. And just when we get into some good habitat, we run into a major problem. All right, so not only are the glow worms not glowing, but now our lights are not either. So not only the main spotlight, but the backup flashlight and even the backup to that flashlight have all died. So I am really kind of hoping this uh, bug does us a solid and glows for us. But right now we're literally using our filming lights super heavy to like move around and illuminate the habitat. So it's rough out here, but hopefully this glowing bug will give us a, you know, a nice little signal to find it. Without our lights, we have to start heading back towards civilization. But there's one last place I want to check. The perfect spot for any self-respecting predator. A creepy abandoned bathroom out in the middle of nowhere. And it was on a trail right next to the sketchy toilet that we finally found what we were after. Oh my. Oh my goodness, we may have done it. That, that is the glow worm. Oh wow. That is a freaky looking bug. Oh man. I am very excited to talk about this one. We're gonna get into a good, good filming area. That is one of the weirdest things I have ever seen. Holy crap. All right, here we are. I promise I'm not purposely flipping you guys off, but that is the finger she chose to go on. This right here, <laughs> I need to remember to keep these up. This is the glow worm. And what an absolute freak of nature. If you look at its head, it can actually retract its head in like a turtle and then extend it out with these two little antenna that almost look like a snail. And what's funny about that is that this is actually a snail predator. So you may think in the desert that snails are hard to come by, but within, under the rocks, hiding in the moisture, there are some, and this is a <laughs> murderer of those snails. It's gonna be poking in that thin head underneath the shell and devouring them. The glowworm is perfectly designed for taking on soft-bodied prey like snails and slugs. Their weird antenna detect their slime trails, even if they're several days old. And upon tracking them down, they unload a vicious flurry of venomous bites right to the creature's face. The neurotoxin slows down the snail's movements which, yes, sounds like a total waste of time, and allows the glowworm to eat it in peace. Glowworms don't have strong enough mandibles to chew through their prey's flesh, so instead they vomit out a glob of dissolving compounds that melt their prey into a soup that the glowworm drinks. So what exactly is this creature? Did I just rake it up from the bowels of some eldritch horror? Believe it or not, this this right here, this weird looking creature, is a firefly. This is a firefly, and it is the weirdest firefly on Earth because this is a female, and the larvae of this animal look very much like this, almost exactly like this, but smaller. And the larvae of a lot of other fireflies look exactly like this. Oh, she, yeah, she's like putting some gross residue on me. But this female never wanted to grow up. She is continuing her fashion trend back when she thought she was cool in high school and has continued to look like a larval 
firefly. And just like a firefly, just like the ones you'll see flying around and glow, this creature can glow. She will use her abdomen to blast out a green light to attract a male. And of course, that is why you might want to call Chris Hansen on these guys, because these males are swooping down and looking for a creature that entirely looks like an underage child. So, you know, if one of these males flew in, you better believe I'd, I'd tell him to take a seat right over there. But luckily, luckily I think those, those freaks are out of the picture. And the weirdness keeps coming on because not only is this a firefly, not only can it glow, not only does it look like some weird trilobite creature and it can sneak its head into its shell, but this creature is toxic. This is a poisonous animal. If you look at the colors, you'll see that classic warning coloration, that black and red. And what that's telling predators is that this creature has a toxin very similar to toad poison. And toad poison, for those of you who know, I don't know if you saw my iconic Sonoran Desert Toad video, but that is some nasty stuff. So if a predator were to try to eat this thing, it may look like a nice easy meal, nice and slow moving, but one pop of this thing in its mouth and it is very well lights out for whoever tries to eat it. Very appropriate because it's a glow worm. Lights out, you know, it works. So the glow worm, quite possibly the weirdest thing I've ever had crawl on my hand. I hope you all enjoyed, learned about this bizarre creature that I honestly did not know of until I was doing research for this trip. Stay tuned for other weird and wonderful wildlife, and I'll see you guys next time.